beautiful beings bienvenido welcome i would like to take a moment of silence for all those going through a transition transformation may they complete their journey From that silence, maybe you're witnessing that it is pretty noisy in the background. We at Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary are officially in Borique, Taino territory, Puerto Rico, starting our 10th year of service to people of heritage, especially genderqueer identities and low-income folks. So please keep in mind, this is going to be a noisy video. Um, and that's also why I have the microphone so close to hopefully remedy that. I am Kua Jasirdi. That's my first name and my pronouns are the one and this one. I am the steward of this grassroots organization. I want to come to you to discuss how to make some basic um, tinctures, a basic infusion. Our ancestors have passed down grief, trauma, and it is up to us to tend our wounds and address what we can in the ways that we can. We have ancestral support, elemental support, support from the plants and the planets. We have to acknowledge the need and be open to the support. It is okay to ask for help and there are many beings available to us. Remember that we may be in need and that is likely unique to us how to remedy our needs. This is why it's important to be able to listen to your body, heart, and spirit so that they can tell us what is going on. And it's important to be um, to have enough inner silence or stillness to receive these messages. <sighs> which can come from many directions, but how you normally receive spiritual messages. I don't like breathe. The radical act of breathing, connecting with the air elements. I bring you to this practice. We hold a lot of trauma as two spirits, trans, gender queer, gender non-conforming, non-binary folks, as well as people of heritage, people of heritage, people of color, people of the global majority. Ooh, and this grief is generational. This trauma is generational or soul wounds. Um, and it also comes from our present life and what we are going through. So, in many traditions, as well as mine, genderqueer, two-spirit, and trans folks are some of the tenders of ceremony, traditional medicine keepers, and in my own life, I am rising up to take my place amongst them. Our wounds may run deep, but so do our roots of medicine. It's now raining. Plants have supported us in our vision ceremonies, initiations, and rites of passages. Plants have also supported our sacred activities. They have helped us through pain, trauma, grief, and fear on all energetic levels. We witness the potency of flowers, roots, leaves, seeds, bark, and hopefully through understanding these cycles in nature, we understand we will come to understand the cycles in our own bodies. So I am also the herbalist at Authentic Creations. And for the last nine years, I have um, created sustainable care packages, which are heavily in the medicinal realm. Also seeds and seed saving, as well as crafts and fun. Um, because that is so necessary in tending our wounds as well. So a basic formula if you're making 
really anything. A tincture, a salve, an oil, household cleaners, um, a one to three or a one to four ratio. And I love parts, not like cups or anything like that. So everyone can make what's best for them and in the quantity that's best for them. And you also don't have to think of um, changing, not necessarily changing the recipe, but um, like if you have to double it or half it or whatever. Um, so parts gives us that autonomy to make what we need. Some of you are saying, what's parts? So parts are, you have a jar and you look at it and you break it into four parts um, or five parts, depending if you want something more potent or less potent. Um, and I usually do the one to three I like a little more potency, but when I'm making kind of like my herbal hormones and things like that, I like the one to four. Um, so that is splitting your jar into four parts or five parts and picking the bottom part for your herbs. And then the subsequent space is for your liquid or your menstruum, your oils. That can be honey, water, vinegar, um, alcohol, um, glycerin is the sugar from alcohol, so be careful with that. It's a more modern technology and also maybe not best for our community who um, has high sugar intake. But I love making apple cider vinegar tinctures. It's great for folks who um, are younger, folks who culturally don't partake in alcohol or through colonization and weaponization have refused alcohol. So I love vinegar. That's my main menstruum. So what are we going to go in on today? Oh, I also want to shout out to animal fat. That's how I make my salves. So I make the vinegar tinctures, the animal fat salves. Um, so when you infuse the oil, one part to three parts or one part to four parts you can after you strain that you can use it in your salve you can use it in your household cleaners um, even when I infuse soap sometimes I go get seventh generation plain soap and infuse it with oil or infuse it with plants so that is just a basic recipe so that you can do what you need um, today I'm going to be making a heart tincture because that's what I need I am new to um, this Taino land, and um, I don't know if I'd say missing uh, the colonized America, Turtle Island, but um, my Espanol is pequeño, and I do feel a little isolated. My Taino partner is my main connection to the world at this moment, so... I think that's about it. Whenever we make medicine at Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary, we use this Z, first aid to face adversity. Um, the second part is animals, plants, and mushrooms, craft culinary and medicinal uses. And so this is my personal copy. It has like my private notes that I use. Um, then I make some recipes and then I infuse them for the different people in our community um, we're actually shifting to more seed saving and gardening um, but the last nine years have been so fruitful and um, our annual reports will come out we did about 1200 ounces of medicine so I'm super impressed. So maybe you're asking, this is great if you're making facial toner, eye drops, um, really anything with like a liquid or the menstruum. So some people are wondering maybe about side effects. So a side effect is like a pharmaceutical term or an allopathic medicine term as far as um, they call it a side effect but it's actually the purpose of the medicine right it, it also helps you but it also doesn't help you um, an opposite of this practice is herbal medicine which um, doesn't really have any side effects because the medicine really only help which is so, so great 
Um, some folks do have reactions or allergies to plants, food, and our medicine plants, and um, we advise you to discontinue. It's always great to try a little bit before you really go for it. Um, so some plants are potent or toxic in large amounts, but although that is the case, most problems with herbal medicine is taking too little to have the um, wanted benefit. So think about that. Just going through my notes. Okay, so I also wanna encourage you to forage. Is that wild? Is it in your neighborhood? Is it in an open space, in a park? know if they spray pesticides um, but we live in a world of toxins so um, wash off what you have um, so be a hundred percent when you identify you can consult two to three sources be people I love asking neighbors like hey this trees in your yard what is it um, I like to ingest small amounts to start I personally am allergic to what am I allergic to nettles I'm allergic to nettles um, maybe a little bit of valerian, um, or that's the other herb that I know people are allergic to. So I would say plants are for sharing, and plants also um, are symbiotic with us. They have evolved with us to support our journeys, and they will go away if we don't use them. Also, they will go away if we overuse them. So there's the sweet spot in the middle. Um, you know, always, depending where you are, if you're urban, you can pick a little bit. I think it's a little bit more lax because you don't always get the third plant you see, but always just taking a little bit of any plant that you're engaging with. And always ask the plant and let the plant know your intentions for use and get that okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to blaze through this. So some alcohol, some people have certain percentages. I'm thinking whatever you have access to, whatever you have access to, definitely start there and you can always grow your practice with um, what's available to you. My ancestry uses rum and brandy, which is like a distilled wine. But like I told you, I even make my own personal tinctures with vinegar at this point because I am getting off of alcohol as well. Um, so thank you so much. We are new on Patreon. We met our goal of our first five patrons, which are Richie, Wesley, Rochelle, Amber, and Kristen. So thank you so much. And please continue to uplift our work. As you know, we, are on, we only have Patreon, WordPress, I'm sure one other thing, <laughs> PayPal. Uh, we try to keep a low profile to protect our community and not get sucked into the social media vortex. Okay, we are so grateful to you all, and as always, we value you 